so is uh, burning back in. So uh, I'm putting a bit of an oil pressure problem on the car. It's going to use a little show now, I'll show on the gauge. 13 pounds, 12 pounds, 13 pounds. It was all the way up to 30. So uh, we got a new pump for it. So uh, we're going to put a these are metalling 295 oil pump and we're going to put that in and see does it correct the oil pressure. So your little picture in there you can look we have the oil pump taken out of the engine and come over here we have uh, the original oil pump and we have a new oil pump here and this is a Summit brand uh, it's on sale for $67. And if you turn it over, it says Milling 295, made in the USA. So it's a good deal on a, on a milling pump if you go through the summit. So uh, we pulled the pressure relief valve out, and we have uh, four washers that we're going to put at the top of the plug and hopefully this will uh, raise the oil pressure up a little bit into it. So we put the four of them in in the spring and uh, we'll assemble that there now and start putting, uh, start putting the pump back in. So okay we got the, the shims, the plug, drop in four and we'll put the spring into it and we'll tighten them in She's torque just right. There's a piece of paper that comes with it and it shows uh, what o-ring you use and uh, it also shows uh, what pickup you use. So I, obviously if you look at it, this is the one we have right here. It's, uh, it's like a taper spot in the middle of the pickup tube and uh, it says use a green o-ring. So that's what I had into it and that's what I'm, I'm putting back into it again. And there's another one here that it's flared out and it goes in uh, to a smaller area. That takes the green o-ring as well. The one to take the black is actually, it's a straight one. And if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's on the, the earlier uh, uh, truck engines, 99, 2002, somewhere around there. And then as they got later on, like the other DOD engines uses this one. I'm not sure on this one here, but this is the one we got, so the green o-ring is the one we use. But the uh, easiest thing to do is, uh, if, you're, if you're using the stock stuff, is look at the one come out of it, but uh, this, will come, this sheet of paper will come with your new pump, and it'll show you what you have to use on it. So, as you can see from this pump here, we'll take the cover off it. I'll only show us in the and uh, the video that they just rotates the motor over now but uh, to get this piece on uh, with the oil pump pickup still in the truck in the car uh, it'll make it a little bit easier to get on so I'm going to actually take the cover off and start the pump and put it in put the cover back onto it uh, with some lube inside and then rotate it so we'll see how that goes come on good That's what the inside looks like. And we're going to end up taking two of this out.
Actually, it dries up. So if you if you're ever curious about uh, the high volume oil pumps, uh, this here will be thicker, and the cavity in here will be thicker. So that's how it increases the volume. But this is just a standard volume, standard pressure. And hopefully, we'll have more pressure with the shims, but that's the difference in the two of them. So when when you do order, just as I say, when you do order the pump, obviously uh, to make this gear set thicker or bigger, uh, this obviously gets bigger on the back. So that's why a lot of uh, some says if you're only using a double roller tongue chain, you can't use it with a high volume pump because the case is thicker. So it's a little note. So we'll uh, take this now and see if we get it on the motor while it's still in the car. So now, I didn't know that, but uh, okay. So I'm gonna get out of the car and we look what we have here now is we took the cover off the oil pump right now, and this seat is bolted on. Just the bolts are all just a uh, little bit of looseness into them, finger tight. And we stacked a couple of washers here, so uh, we're gonna rotate the motor over uh, just set the clearance in the pump. Right now, this is the way milling advises you to do it. At one time, we used to put uh, was the feeler gauges in here to center it out, and you'd center the you'd center the pump gear and you center the housing gear. Uh, but right now, I don't know if you've been having trouble with people doing it or not doing it. But right now, we want you to assemble it, leave the bolts loose, and rotate the crank over, and that'll center it up. Actually, they don't even. Uh, take the bolt out the bolts out of it or don't take the cover off it but once we get this thing centered up we'll uh, push the pickup tool up into it and uh, bolt it on and we'll also uh, fill the cavity with oil after it's centered and we'll put the cover back on so we'll rotate the motor over and um, and then we'll tighten the, the bolts on the, on the oil pump uh, uh, bolt holes. So with the other pump in place, I, uh, I've, I've just done it there uh, a second ago. Uh, I usually leave a ratchet on these, just just uh, for, for a minute. And we put the bolt on here, and uh, we just crank the bolt over like so. And after you uh, rotate it, 360 degrees, like I said, we, we just don't there off camera or whatever. Uh, you do that, and then you come over here and just uh, you will snug these bolts up, and uh, that will center your pump. What they used to do, like you said, the center years ago, speeder gauges, but I was just curious after we uh, rotated it and centered it up that uh, to see like there was nothing bound. You can see there's play. Pretty well all around in, the, in that, so I guess it does do a pretty good job of uh, centering up the gears. So we go and get the sheet now, and I'll uh, put a torch back on uh, these four bolts, and uh, we'll bolt the pickup back in, and, uh, and then we'll uh, start assembling some more. Okay, so we're back at it, and we fill this up, we center it, tighten it, fill this up with oil. Uh, assembly lube actually and tighten the screws up onto it and we have the oil pump pickup all tightened up and anyway now it's time to put the front cover on it and put the balancer onto it and we're probably going to fire it up like it is just to see if we got oil pressure before we put the water pump and all that stuff on so that's the oil we just drained out of the engine it's, uh, like chocolate milk, <laughs> almost. It's a lot of fuel into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to take the, the oil out, and what we got is a, a paint strainer here in the funnel, and we're going to dump the oil down through the strainer to see if there's anything into it. Is it? So pour it out. Just look how thin that is. I was getting down for the end of it now. And 
and it's still very wide. I haven't seen a whole lot of anything into it. <coughs> okay, so we uh, got the car back together. Just put the oil and antifreeze into it. Uh, there was uh, no metal into the oil, uh, which is good. We ran through that paint strainer, but it was severely washed down. So, uh, a lot of gas in the oil. Uh, so, I guess I've been moving in and out of the garage probably you know, four or five times a week, just uh, that stuff. So I guess it, uh, you know, start just quick start, no warm up. So uh, anyway, we got the we got the oil into it, and uh, we're gonna start it up and see what we got now for oil pressure. So the oil pressure is there, you can see it's showing uh, uh, 1 psi because it's shut off. So let's start her up and see, she, uh, see what she comes up to now. Okay, so we bait it back to the garage again. As you can see, we got Jordan's car in the background. Uh, mine is at Jordan's house for, uh, for a little while. And uh, so the oil pressure, yeah. Um, ended up being 27 hot at idle and going up to around 45 uh, when you're driving it. So it's uh, not really what I want it. Uh, I don't know if the next step will be to open the wastegates, plug off the oil feed lines to the turbo, see how much that the turbochargers are stealing. Uh, other than that, uh, it's probably going to be uh, uh, so taking the engine apart and have a look at it. So shimming the oil pump uh, basically makes a low pressure pump and doing a high pressure pump. And if you look at the spring settings when you buy the mailing pumps, it, the high pressure pump is about 10 psi more than what the, the standard pressure is. So, uh, seeing that is basically we got exactly uh, the pump's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So it's uh, maybe with the two turbos and uh, more more uh, demand on the oil system. Maybe we need a high volume pump or a high volume high pressure pump, but uh, that'll be. I think I get more oil capacity to do that because, as you uh, remember, we uh, we took the we caught a I think it's a two inches off the base pan, so we lost about a liter of oil out of it. So the oil pan only holds five liters now. So anyway, uh, in the, in the future, I may uh, make like something like the kick out oil pan, 
and probably put a higher volume pump into it if uh, if it's not a bearing issue that we get uh, we have. So, um, yeah. So anyway, so we learn from it. So is basically we put the oil pump in. We got a bit more oil pressure. So do we just drive like it is and drive until it uh, until something happens to it or it gets worse or again or whatever, or do we take it apart and uh, and uh, fix it and put some you know put some new bearings into it, put uh, another oil pump into it, and uh, see what happens from there. But that's a job for another day. So anyway, Bernie, and uh, we'll see you next time.